In this video, what I'm going to demonstrate to you is how to make a completely unattended sysprep XML file for imaging. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll open up uh, the Windows System Image Manager. And this is the main tool that we'll use to create this file. And we'll select the window image. Now, the window image, there's going to be two files in the Sources folder on your media. One is install.wim, the other is boot.wim. Install.wim is what we want. So we'll open this. This is actually the media that you're going to install from. And we're going to create a new answer file. And once we create that new answer file, in the left side here, we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for International Core. Now don't get it confused with the PE. We want International Core. We'll right click and add that to the OOBE system. Now we're going to go ahead and we're also going to find Shell Setup and we're going to add that not only to the OOB system but we're also going to add that to the Specialize and I'll explain why later. So let's go back to the International Core and what we'll do is we'll put in our locale now this is a combination of two ISO standards one is the actual um, uh, locale and the other is the country and we'll just fill this out then what we're going to do is we're going to go down to shell setup and in here we're going to set the time zone now I live in Eastern Standard Time and Microsoft actually has a guide of all of these. Now we're going to go to OOBE. Now we're going to tell it to hide the end user license agreement page and then we're going to set the network location to work. Now protect your PC there's one through three. One says protect it. Two is protect and suggest and three is I'll configure it later. We're going to go down to user accounts and we have to create a first user account that's an administrator. The administrator account by default in Windows 7 is disabled. So we'll go ahead we'll put a description in we'll put the display name We'll put the group, which is Administrators, and then the actual name of the account. Now, I'm going to go down to Password right underneath that, and I'm going to set a password. I'm going to set a password to Password, but you could set it to whatever you like. This will actually be encrypted, and I'll show you that later. Okay, now that we got that all taken care of, we're going to go up to shell setup under the specialize and what we're going to actually do is we're going to paste the key for a KMS server now there's actually a Microsoft document that actually details all of the default KMS keys so it's not like I'm putting up my KMS key um, this is just a default this tells the computer when it boots up that it's a KMS client now, we can set one other thing. We can set the PNP system under general, generalized pass and we can say persistent all devices install and what that does is it retains all device drivers on the first boot but we're going to take that out because we're going to let it do its PNP on boot up. We're going to go ahead and close this answer file and save it of course. We're going to name it unattend.xml We're going to close this Windows image out and shut down the sim. Now, there's our unattended XML. Let's take a look at what's in it. It's all XML. Uh, as you see, everything we set is in here. You'll also notice the password is encrypted. And there's our product key. Now, this is our unattended XML file. We need to put this in the Windows System32 sysprep directory. And I wrote a little batch script that basically 
changes into the Windows System 32 sysprep directory, and then starts sysprep with an OOBE switch, a generalize, and specifies the unattended XML.